So, I mean, creating music, I think music had always been a major part of my life since I was a kid. Um, I mean, my mom told me that I would run around the house and be singing all the time when I was little. Um, but I would say in terms of actually creating music, I mean, I started piano at six, um, usually playing just classical tunes um, and then more contemporary stuff as I got older. Um, and as for singing, I started singing at 14 properly through vocal lessons. And I think around that time, I'd start actually creating my own originals with the guitar or the piano. I can't say they were very good in terms of my lyrics. Um, I think I was probably singing about some crush or like some unrequited love I was experiencing. Um, but I say, I would say my music and the creation of it, my originals really took off when I was 18 in college in Montreal. Um, and I took it more seriously. I was fine tuning my lyrics and my writing and I was collaborating with other artists and singers or rappers. Um, I was performing at bars and cafes and, and um, concert venues. Um, so yeah, I would say uh, I would give it like 18 really creating music and really taking it seriously and going into studios and um, performing. So Feel was a song I had written at a very low point in my life about a few years ago. Um, and I think I wrote it one night when my thoughts were really loud um, and I was very sad. And uh, so I started playing around with these three chords and just started looping them and just began to sing what was on my mind. And so the lyrics came quite naturally um, in that sense. Um, and I'd always, I had always, also always been influenced by um, jazz and blues. So I found that I was singing the lyrics in that genre. Um, so what started out as just like an improv about my state of mind um, in my room actually later blossomed to like an actual song. Um, and it actually took me a while to properly record it since I wasn't sure I wanted a song that deep and that deeply personal out there about a very, um, let's say, depressive state in, 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 in my life. And, um, and once I got the courage to record it, um, I kept on finding myself going back and forth with it for about three years to try and get a perfect edit and the perfect take. But um, because it was so deeply personal, but, um, but then, you know, there is no such thing as the perfect take and um and now i really love i really really love how the track turned out and i feel like you can sense the emotion in it when you listen to it and that's really what i wanted to achieve so i moved here pretty recently i'd say a little over a year ago so um and you know because of the code restrictions i wasn't able to fully um delve into the music scene until recently um, but I have to say the UK music scene is, from what I've seen so far, is incredibly vibrant and London specifically, obviously. And um, I think so far I've become really heavily influenced by the jazz scene here as I've done a lot of um, jazz gigs and performing um, jazz covers um, in concert venues. Um, but in terms of my own listening time and I guess what I found on Spotify and just through Instagram, um, I've been quite influenced by a lot of R&B and soul. Uh, musicians here um, that are very prominent um, and I've also noticed that the originals I've, I'm starting to create now are mirroring um, that genre and that style that, that comes out of the UK. Artists that have inspired me the most, or I guess the artists that have, that have always inspired me um, since I was little were Nora Jones having grown up with um, her music around the house, um, Donny Hathaway, uh, Gregory Porter, um, but I would say more contemporary artists that are similar to my sound or that I, that I really um, admire um, would be Snow Allegra, um, Leanne Le Havis, Sabrina Claudio. Um, and particularly in the UK, uh, I'm still um, very heavily influenced by the R&B and soul musicians here. So in particular artists like James Vickery, Cleo Soul, Joy Crooks, Olivia Dean, they're all uh, wonderful artists and I think I think the reason why I tend to gravitate towards the music that I really love is because I found that there's such honesty in their lyricism and um, they're incredibly true to who they are um, in their writing and um, what I've seen so far on their platforms, on their media platform. So Feel is um, actually part of a four song EP um, that I'll be releasing later in the year. Uh, Buffer Zone and Blind are um, two songs uh, that are already out that are on the EP. Um, and uh, there's a fourth song uh, coming out soon. Um, I would say the general genre of the EP is quite soul, minus feel that is a bit more like acid jazz, I'd say. Um, but I don't think that the common thread of the, of the 
um, EP is the genre, but rather that these songs are written over the past three, four years of my life um, and years that have been quite pivotal. Um, you know, each song has um, was a defining moment in my life so far, um, and it was a point where I had either learned something about my relationship with others and how I handle that, or uh, about my relationship um, that I have with myself, um, which has taken ups and downs. And so it's it's sort of like a like a recap of of what's what's been going on, I guess.